Okay, there's this popular YouTuber, uh, Wheat Waffles, fairly popular. He goes and hits on women and talks to them in university campuses where he knows it's dangerous to do so. He finally gets zapped. Then he acts baffled. He can't figure it out. You got to be pretty dense head to think like this, dude. Now, he embarrassed himself with this video. Let's get into the important parts. This is where he gets uh, <laughs> accused. And this one's only about 10, 15 seconds long. And this was actually the worst interaction of the day. So I'll just show you what happens. Sorry, I think you're probably in the middle of a... You got your headphones on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, sorry to interrupt you. I think you're probably in the middle of a really important message or something like that. Um, but me and my friend, we're recording a video today. And... Okay, you're definitely sure? Yeah. Okay, no problem. So as you can see, that just gives you a basic idea of how the approaches go down. And as I've said, this was the worst interaction. I was quite caught off guard that she just immediately said, no thanks, I'm out. Why would you be cut off guard? Women don't like men, dude. Why do you guys need to approach women at all? I mean, if women actually like to get together with men. So you, you've been going for how long? How old is your channel? How long have you been rejected by women on the regular? And can't figure this out. But that's as bad as it gets, really. Most are very sincere and they at least, you know, give you the time of day. They want to find out a bit more. And yeah, uh, they they are interested in maybe having their faces on camera. They're not interested in you at all. Okay, how uh, how I approach girls to make videos. Okay, okay. So you're basically a scammer. Anyway, that just gives you a basic idea. Of even at the worst case scenario, this is how respectful it still is. And I don't think for one second it constitutes harassment. So I'm honest. It doesn't matter if it's disrespectful, right? That's not in the same as harassment either, dude, right? If girls don't like a guy, they just have to tell you to bug off. That doesn't mean you get a false accused and kicked off campus. I've even been accused of this. But anyway, now let me get Hold it. Let me see that. Did you say you were baffled? I just want to make sure. So I'm honestly baffled that I've even been accused of this. Well, you are pretty dead brain then. Because men have been falsely accused for years now. Me too has been going strong. I mean, did you live your life with a with your head in a block of wax or buried in the sand? Come on. Anyway, now let me get into the actual story of how I was accused. So at this particular part of the Well, it's not going to be a long story. Uh, you talked with a girl. Uh, that's not allowed anymore. So campus security came and told you so. And we were sitting on this grass area, and then I see in the corner of my eye some security guards walking over to us. And then there was a couple behind us as well, and one more that was all walking into our directions. So yeah, the white knights are coming. That's true. This part was like, this is interesting. This is a bit funny. Yeah. You couldn't see this coming from a mile away. Knowing what campuses are like now, like, dude, what's your IQ? How'd you get into university in the first place? What these guys are looking for. Maybe they're just trying to see what I'm doing. Maybe they just want to see what it's about. Okay, that's incredibly naive. This is very typical, everyone. Uh, guys, what, what must be going on here where all these other guys who get falsely accused, you say, well, they must have been bad guys. They're not me. They're not good guys like me. That's the only thing I can figure. Either that or you just don't give a shit. And now this turd is ending up on your porch step, right? And now it's an issue. Anyway, they come over to us and I see them walking in the, talking in their little walkie-talkies and I overhear one of them. He's like, yeah, this is the guy. 
she's about to engage with him now. So they come over to me, and I'm encircled by these five security guards now. And the first one speaks up and he says, Excuse me, mate, so what do you think you're doing? And I say, um, I'm recording a video. And he says, Well, um, we've been. I'd be saying, I'm hitting on girls and I'm free to do it. Bug off. That's what I'd be saying. And then I am taken aback and I'm thinking... Well, well then you're a dummy, right? Because this has been happening, right? Going on the whole time. Harassment, by the way, doesn't mean what it used to. You got to understand what the meaning of words are now. Harassment is guys interacting with women. People don't want that anymore. Universities are feminist-controlled waffles. And they're they're put a chilling effect on guys hitting on women. What a stupid question to ask. You know the legal system is already geared that women can make accusations. They don't have to identify themselves. So there's no point in you even asking that. They're not going to tell you who. Received an emergency alert on our app, which alerts all of the security guards that there's been a report of harassment. And at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit more of an understanding of what's happened. So basically, there's an app which is provided by the university. Yeah, it's provided by the university. So this is from the top down. The university hates the young men going to it. And also, why are you going on about an app? Technology doesn't matter. Women destroy men by word of mouth. So it doesn't matter whether there's an app or not. And allows people to report misconduct or any inappropriate behavior. And those are things used for snuggle struggle, if you guys know what I mean when I say that. No, no, it has nothing to do with that. It's for you talking to girls, and you know it. So don't bring up that other horseshit. Don't validate their horseshit. So that's what has been happening so far. And the next thing that the security guard says, I remember this quote exactly. I remember exactly what he said. I actually have it written down. So what have you been doing? Have you been going around asking the girls if they want to go out with you? And I say, uh, no, I've just been... Yeah, but you you realize whatever it is, right? It has nothing to do with struggle snuggles, right? You're not allowed to hit on girls, but the girls are allowed to hit on you. So you're, at best, a second-class citizen in university campuses, but I would say you're not even a citizen. You have no citizenship there at all. And then I say after... <laughs> And even if I was approaching girls, trying to date them, what would be the issue? And this is the important part. And then he said back to me, and I, this is the part that I exactly remember. We don't want any girls being harassed on campus. And it's our job to make sure this is a safe space where the girls feel comfortable. Yeah, you're not allowed to hit on girls. Duh. Like, why? How come you haven't figured this out long ago? Genius. And as soon as he said that, that exposed exactly what I predicted. And it shows that approaching women, or at least in the eyes of the security and in the woman that's reported me, you're not allowed to approach women anymore. It well, duh. <laughs> you're just noticing this now? How myopic can you be? This has been going on everywhere, every university across the North America, states and Canada. You're just getting it now? Someone, these people basically have to come to you and drag you to the concentration camp before you go, oh, wow, I didn't realize what was going on. Apparently harassment to go up to girls. This was just for a video, by the way, mind you. Imagine if I was doing it with romantic interests. Well, you're actually giving into their frame now. So talking to girls over video 
isn't as bad as talking to girls for romantic reasons. So you're saying romantic reasons are worse. You're giving into their frame, right? So even in your mind, you, you believe there is something wrong with guys sitting on girls. Oh my God, you must be really dead brained. How could it be baffling to you? It's only bad. Well, for one thing, women don't like men. Here you approach this woman. She just said, get lost, jerk. And how many times have you experienced these kind of things? All kinds of times. And universities have been doing this all countrywide, continent-wide for years now. So how can you be baffled? It's, if I'm getting into the next part of the video, which I'm showing, like how much this angers me and annoys me, that this is going to have drastic consequences to the dating market. Holy shit. This is threatening your education and your ability to get a job and spitting on you simply because of the way you were born. And your big worried is the dating scene. Like, dude, grab some self-respect. Like, get your priorities straight. Let me make one thing absolutely crystal clear. Mm. If you approach women with romantic intent, you go up to them and you say that you find them attractive. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay, that's good that you said that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with going up to a woman, as long as you're respectful, as long as you say no means no, fair enough, if you follow her home. Don't give in to the framework, dude. Don't give in to their frame. You don't have to, you don't have to like apologize for yourself. You've got it right in the first place, right? Uh, that's a completely different ballpark. That's harassment. But if you go up to a girl and you make your intention clear, you say, I find you attractive and I wanted to get to know you a little bit better. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Well, you're wrong because it is according to the university and you allowed this. You guys allow this to your inactivity and your myopic vision, your indifference to other men, and you only care now that's happening to you. Well, to other guys, you're the other guy, and they don't care what that is happening to you. Wheat waffles. It doesn't constitute harassment, as you can see. Why I'm getting a little bit annoyed by it. Well, you're just basically annoyed. I'd say I'm outraged. I'm outraged that I'm a non-citizen on these campus spaces, right? And frankly, they simply changed the definition of harassment. So you fit the deal by coming on to women, right? It happens because the fact that it's happened to me, it makes me think how many other guys have been, who, who were innocent, have had something like this happen to them. <laughs> what I tell you guys, it had to happen to him personally before he actually thought about the other guy. So Wheat Waffles, you better get to work collectively working with your fellow man on campus. Otherwise, it's going to stay this way or even get worse. Things aren't going to get better on their own. And maybe you should consider your fellow man before something happens to you. It's baffling. It, it really, really angers me. And... It doesn't just affect the men who want to Okay, make, get ready for the false equivalence right here. Approach women and want to make something about their dating life. It affects women as well. It's this 5% of women. No, no, dude, no, no. It doesn't affect women at all. This young lady that you that rejected you so harshly, she can hit on you anytime she wants. No one's going to use a dating app to call her out and say she's harassing you. According to the university rules, men can't be harassed by women. So, look, I know this is a coward's move by you. You don't want to stand up for yourself as a man because you know people are like you and have complete indifference to, to your plight or even hostility. So you try and include the girls desperately. It's not affecting them much. These women can hit on you anytime they like. They are not affected. You are. Guys, and for us, the messing it up for everyone. 
And it's not 5% either. All the women are involved, all of them. I've got examples of this. Just watch this video. It shows what I mean. This is okay. This is a gaslighting video that this guy, which is insulting to men, by the way, wheat waffles. You're being insulted by this woman. And for you to show this shows you just how little self respect you have for yourself. It's 5% of women are ruining the dating market for everyone else. These dating apps, it's common knowledge that anytime you go out in public ever is a possible mating experience. That That's common knowledge. That's old news. We know, okay? Anytime you go out, it's possible this could be your time, right? Okay, so tell me why. Every time I go out, I, I'm feeling it, right? Put on a dress, hair is done, I got it going on, I'm feeling cute. I'm like, all right, let's do this, right? They could do this. this woman could get a guy anytime she wants sweet waffles. All she has to do is approach one and hit on one. Or at least give him the single that a signal that she's interested. That's all she has to do. So she is doing a gaslighting video on you, you sucker. Think that's you that's all you get it girlfriend you get that you know what i'm saying you do that online thing but for everyone else who wants a normal type of relationship we when's it our turn what first of all doing it online doesn't make it abnormal you can find a normal relationship online so she's gaslighting she's lying and she just has to approach some guy she just wants to be approached and she's not looking for a date wheat waffles she just wants the approach she wants the power to reject guys. She actually doesn't necessarily want to get with guys. She just wants to approach them, and then she can exercise her dominance by saying, no, I'm not interested in you. Right? That's what's going on here. And it's such a deflating feeling when you're done your errands and you're going home and you're just in your car, still looking cute, but not feeling cute anymore. Yeah, see, this is about her, dude. This is about her saying, I'm not feeling cute because some guy didn't come on to me, right? And it had to be a guy she was attracted to to some degree, right? So this is gaslighting because, like I say, these girls could just have to give the signal to a guy and he'll come over and pay attention to her and compliment her. So this is an assaulting video. If you think this video supports what you're saying, you have no awareness of you. You're delusional about reality. No, because nothing happened. That one person came up to you telling you you're so beautiful. I want to take you out. Nothing happened, did it? No. So now what? When and she knows that she's the cause of this. This isn't 5% of women, dude. Because these women, the 95 could could knock off the 5%. In a heartbeat, if that was the case, they would just have to approach men and men would get the get, get the uh, idea. But also these women would, would go to campus and say, look, uh, we want to date men uh, and this is getting in our way. But they don't do that, do they? Genius. Because they like it that way. So this isn't the 5% of women. This is all of them. So this shows you what's happening. And the reason it's happening is because, as I said, those 5% of women who wrongly accuse guys of harassment. This is, this is cope up to 11. It's not simply that these, there are few women uh, doing the accusations. It's that the university supports it. This is institutionalized. And if you want to make it better, you have to work to change the institution. And you've got to do it collectively with these other guys that you've been ignoring until it happened to you. These are guys that want to approach women. The 95% of women that do want to get approached, women like this. If 95% of women wanted to be approached, they would approach you. Why do you think you have this channel where you do all the approaching? 
Women don't give a shit about being with guys. If they did, they would do the approaching themselves. Come on, dude. You are delusional. Or not on the dating apps. They want to be approached mm. by men. They see countless ones they find attractive every single day. The men on the And being approached isn't the same thing as wanting to date them or be their girlfriends. You, just, you should understand that. Most guys get rejected. So women enjoy men approaching them so they can reject them. That is an exercise in disrespect for yourself when you do that. The men aren't approaching them anymore because of that 5% who's going to accuse them. No, again, yeah, these feminists that control the universities have put on a chilling effect for men. It's not for women. These women can approach you at any time. They're never going to suffer any consequences. So don't try and include them. Don't try to shield your issues behind women. Don't jump behind their skirts, wheat waffle. And now I have to deal with this as well. And she's not the only one. She's not the only one. I found another. Video. Another gaslighting video. This is an extremely pretty girl. She can hit on any guy and get male attention anytime she wants. A similar woman who had the exact same issue. I'll be meant to meet people in this day and age. So many people say it. I want to meet someone the old fashioned way. But we're all too scared to do so. I'll tell you how that Okay, that's, that's gaslighting as well. And by the way, they're, they're talking about where can I meet them? You're at university. Women can meet men easily. You're all around them, right? Now, he, then he goes on about only top 10% of Chad's can date now. This is in completely cope. Completely cope. There is no Chad wheat waffles. A good looking guy with high status, girls might like getting hit on by them. But that doesn't stop another woman from making a false allegation and then getting them kicked off campus, does it? There is no Chad. There is no special guy that all women want. How can you be alive as long as you have and deal with women as long as you have and still be this naive about gender dynamics and how women see men? See, guys... This is why you should ignore the, uh, have you ever spoken to a woman? Here's a woman who speaks, here's a guy who speaks to women all the time, and he still has no understanding of how they view us or how their brains think or work. Wow, what a clueless <laughs> numbskull. Anyway, Wheat Waffles, I'm going to end saying, if you want things to get better, you have to get together with guys and collectively work on a political and legal level to change things for the better. They're not going to get better on their own, okay? So come out of it. And also, like again, I'm just going to remind you, if you didn't care about other men until it happened to you, they're going to see the same as you, you, you as in the same regard. So you got to start becoming vocal on campus to other men and, and start uh, uh, supporting one another and, and working together, right? That's what you have to do if you want things better. As it is, you're a non-citizen on comp uh, college campuses. Okay, we'll end it here.